it's important to know that rumen development occurs during the first four to eight weeks. Some experts put it at the first three months of the calf. I want us to agree. Assume any of this is right. The question we want to ask ourselves is, what are we doing about making it develop into the animal that we want to have? If it is four to eight weeks, what must we do within those four to eight weeks so that we get it right? Because if we don't get it right there, the rest of our life with that animal will be under performance. You, within this period, farmers must be very deliberate and very aggressive. The first two months of a calf's life, you must be very aggressive in ensuring that the animal will deliver because a cow's productivity will heavily depend on how a farmer manages the calf these eight weeks. To develop the rumen, a calf must be provided the following immediately after birth. We must be deliberate about each one of them. Microbes. These are beneficial bacteria and fungus. We must know that a cow, a cow is a ruminant because it has a chamber that is called a rumen. And that chamber is full of bacteria and fungus and protozoas that are very, very crucial in the life of a cow. If you kill the bacteria in the rumen, you have killed the cow. And when the animal has this, it has workers who will now convert the efficacy, who will effectively, efficiently convert whatever the animal feeds on and turn it into milk, turn it into growth, turn it, turn it into fertility, turn it into meat, and minimize as much as possible the remain into cow dung. So always, the thing I would want to let you know is that you must change your perception and you must start knowing that a cow is just about microbes. The liquid in the rumen of a cow has between 16 billion and 40 billion microbes per drop. And the higher the population of microbes, the more efficient the, the, the digestion. The more efficient the digestion, the higher the productivity and the lower the cow dung output. Microbes optimize what a farmer gets out of everything they purchase for their animals. But you must know that these are specific microbes. They are non-pathogenic and they are actually the main workers inside the rumen of a cow. Cows are unable to convert the feed that they are given into nutrients that help them to grow because at the time they are born, they do not have enough population of microbes in their system. You may, may want to start being deliberate about making them available into the rumen of a cow as early as possible if you really want to start turning out turning on your factory which is a, a, a calf you must know that water is very crucial in rumen development and if you really want to start developing the rumen you must introduce water and actually from day one into the rumen of your cow and the water must be clean, must be food grade, human food grade. And you start slow, small, uh, small, but be very sure to increase as, as the animal gets in a capacity to utilize more. The rumen of a calf cannot develop without fiber. Fiber is very critical in the development of the rumen. And it is important that you be deliberate about making sure your calf has received some microbes, your calf has received some water, and your calf has received some fiber. 
But when you provide microbes, make sure you have also provided some food for them so that they can proliferate. Without microbes, a ruminant cannot access the nutrients packaged in the feeds she is given. That is why you can even find when you give your calf's hay or something like that, then you hear they are developing a tummy as if they have kwashoko. It is because you are stuffing the calves with feeds that they cannot degrade, they cannot break them, because you have not introduced the workers who would crush them into nutrients that can be converted or utilized by the calf. So be careful whatever you are introducing. When you introduce feeds, introduce microbes to break them down into utilizable nutrients that the calf can start benefiting from.